Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, we're gonna do a fun video showing one of the techniques that's one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you how to use these Lily Moon gel stains, but it's a little different than my last video showcasing these gel stains. Today, I'm gonna show you how I do it over paint. Thing I like to mention on all of my videos is my membership group. I have a membership group called The Barnyard. The Barnyard is a group, well, instead of just standing here talking to you about it, I'll just list all the benefits here. And if you're interested in joining, you can go here. These are the colors we're gonna be using today. These are my most favorite in the gel stain line, although all colors are beautiful. This is from left to right, wooden barrel, moonshine, and natural cork. It's one of my most frequently used trio for my blended technique whether I'm doing it on bare wood or over paint, and my most asked about. Now, these stains are water-based, and I will tell you they are so easy to work with. Being water-based gel stains means that you can use water to blend with them, which when you're using over bare wood in my previous video, I do talk about that, how I spray down my bare wood piece with water before using the gel stains to help them glide and blend a lot easier. Working with them on paint is not that much different. So let's go ahead and show you the process. First, we're gonna paint it, and then we're gonna go ahead after it dries, which I would let that paint sit for at least two hours before applying your gel stains, and then you're good to go. Now, what's the dry time for the gel stains? And how many times do I need to layer my gel stains? Well, that's gonna depend on the look that you want. I would tell you that the dry time is between 20 and 30 minutes, but that's gonna depend on your climate as well. So if you're higher humidity or cooler temperatures, it may take a little longer. Average time is about 30 minutes. I like to do sometimes one coat, sometimes two. It's just gonna depend on the look you're trying to achieve. Now you might be wondering, what do I need to get started? This technique is very minimal tools. Obviously you're gonna need your gel stain. And then I always have my water mister bottle on hand. Now this is not your average water mister bottle. Well, besides the fact that it's pretty used, you can see. It's time for a new one, I think. This is a water mister bottle, a hairdresser's water mister bottle, it puts out a very fine mist, so you won't get any droplets on your piece. To apply the gel stains, I like to use these foam brushes, and in the video you're gonna see me, or in the segment, you're gonna see me use one of these. You can use either one. This one's a little bit smaller. This is the Lily Moon one. I didn't have this on hand when I was filming, so I used this one here. I'll link them both down below, this is what I use to wipe it back. So we're gonna go ahead and use the color Cozy Latte. It is the perfect color for this look. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply like I normally would. I'm using my two inch angled zebra brush. It's really the best brush for this because we're working with a flat surface. We want minimal brush strokes. And as you can see here, I do have my water mister bottle just because it's very dry and warm outside. So I want the paint to glide as nicely as possible. Let's go ahead and get the gel stain on. So I'm using my water mister bottle again, just to kind of wet the surface. And there's no wrong or right way to apply these gel stains. And yes, I know I got a little bit there on the edge, but no worries, this is a very easy cleanup product because it's water-based. So I just go ahead and apply my gel stain colors and I start wiping in or blending with my foam, standard foam brush. The key right now is just to get the piece entirely covered. We're not going for the look just yet. That'll come into play once I get the product spread all over the top. So again, just making sure that you're covering each and every inch of your piece that you want this look on. And sometimes you're just gonna go back and add more of one color or another. I do that several times until I achieve the look that I'm happy with. Again, using the water mister bottle in between to help blend and spread evenly will make your life so much easier. So make sure you have one of these on hand. Now I'm going through with my foam round sponge 
and I'm really letting the blend come together. This is where you start to see it kind of melt or mesh together. Again, being that this is very workable, I can add color and keep going. The biggest tip I can give you is just like I am, hold that water mister bottle and don't let it go. This will make your life so much easier during this process and you'll get exactly the look you want and you won't be dragging and it'll dry down super, super smooth. And there we are, all done. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for being subscribers. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you go hit that subscription button as well as the post notification bell so you're notified when all of my latest videos are released. Being a subscriber to my channel helps keep me supported and keep me going. If you have any positive comments or questions, make sure you leave them down below. I love engaging with you and I'll always answer your questions. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.